In the digital realm, Google's artificial intelligence seems invincible. But did you know it's also a potential risk for shareholders? Google's AI, the brains behind many of its products, has been making some headline-grabbing mistakes. These missteps are not just technical glitches, they're potential cracks in Google's financial armor, and they might just pose a risk for those who've invested in the tech giant. From the search engine we can't live without to the voice assistant that makes our lives easier, Google's AI powers a vast array of products. But what happens when these AI-driven products falter? This is the AI predicament we're diving into today. Welcome to Magnificent 7 Investing, where we look beyond the obvious. Google's AI is not just about search algorithms or voice recognition, it's a vast ecosystem. When we delve into Google's AI products we can see a diverse range of applications and usage. Take Google Search for instance the backbone of Google's services. It's not just about typing in a query and getting results, it's about understanding the user's intent, predicting what they might be looking for, and serving the most relevant high-quality content. And AI is the force that powers this complex process. Then we have Google Assistant, a virtual assistant that uses voice recognition, natural language processing, and AI to provide an interactive interface for users. It's not just a tool to set reminders or play music. It's a personalized assistant that learns from user interactions, adapts to individual preferences, and makes life easier. Moreover, there's Google Translate, an AI-powered translation tool that breaks language barriers. It's not just about converting words from one language to another. It's about understanding the context, the nuances, and delivering a translation that communicates the same meaning as the original text. This is a colossal task, and AI is the driving force behind it. We also see AI at work in Google Photos, where it helps to organize and categorize photos, recognize faces, and even suggest edits. It's not just a photo storage service, it's a smart tool that uses AI to understand visual content and enhance user experience. And let's not forget YouTube, a Google-owned platform, where AI is used for recommendations, video analysis, and content filtering. It's not just a video sharing platform, it's a dynamic environment where AI helps to personalize content and keep the platform safe and engaging. In essence, AI is intertwined with Google's products, powering them, enhancing them, and making them smarter. It's the invisible force that makes Google, well Google. However, these dazzling products don't come without their share of problems. While Google's AI has achieved remarkable feats, it's not without its blemishes. Despite the applaudable accomplishments, Google's AI systems have shown a few significant downsides. One of the critical issues is bias. For instance, Google's AI has shown tendencies to favor specific types of content and users, often resulting in skewed results. This bias can unintentionally propagate harmful stereotypes and misinformation, leading to an unhealthy digital environment. Then there's the issue of privacy. Google's AI relies heavily on gathering and analyzing user data to function effectively. However, this practice raises severe concerns about user privacy and data security. Individuals and businesses alike are increasingly wary of how their data is used and who has access to it. This caution is certainly not unfounded, given the numerous data breaches and privacy scandals we've seen in recent years. Another problem lies in errors in judgment. AI systems including Google's are only as good as the data they're trained on. They can and do make mistakes. For instance, Google's AI has been known to misinterpret or misunderstand user queries, providing incorrect or inappropriate responses. These errors can range from mildly annoying to potentially damaging, especially when they influence decision-making processes. Furthermore, the AI's dependency on historical data for decision-making can sometimes lead to outdated or irrelevant results. This inability to adapt to rapidly changing trends and contexts is a significant limitation that can hinder Google's AI's effectiveness and efficiency. Lastly, the over-reliance on AI can lead to a lack of human touch in Google's services, which can negatively affect user experience and satisfaction. These issues, if not addressed, can pose a risk to those who've invested in Google. So, how does Google's AI mistakes translate into a potential risk for shareholders? Well, let's break it down. If Google's AI continues to make errors, the company's reputation might take a hit. This could cause a ripple effect, leading to a decline in the use of Google's AI products. A decrease in product usage could directly impact Google's profitability. Less profitability in turn means less dividends for shareholders. It's a domino effect, really. One small mistake can set off a chain reaction, potentially leading to significant financial losses. And let's not forget the potential for lawsuits and regulatory fines 
if these AI errors result in privacy breaches or other legal issues. Such penalties could further drain Google's financial resources, once again affecting the shareholders. But it's not all doom and gloom. Google is a tech giant with vast resources. If any company can overcome these challenges, it's them. The question now is, can Google overcome these challenges to secure its shareholders' trust? There's no denying that Google's AI has revolutionized our digital experience, but it's clear that it has its own set of challenges. We've delved into the myriad of AI-powered products that Google offers, from search engines to virtual assistants. We've seen how these innovations have shaped our world, but we've also uncovered the issues that lie beneath the surface. These problems, whether they concern privacy, accuracy, or ethical considerations, pose a potential risk to Google's shareholders. It's a complex predicament, one that requires careful thought and consideration. Yet, in the face of these challenges, the question remains, how will Google address these issues? And more importantly, what does this mean for the stakeholders involved? These are the questions we must ponder upon as we navigate this digital landscape. What are your thoughts on this? Do share in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned to Magnificent 7 Investing for more insightful content.